welcome to a new day. So today is day two of my seven day vegan challenge. Now I'm really excited about this challenge because right now I am definitely all about self-discipline and doing the things that are uncomfortable and putting myself in places of resistance to really start to develop the muscle of discipline and the skill of discipline because I really feel like it's the number one skill to succeed in anything is having self-discipline. And the truth of the matter is, is that once we become adults, we really don't have anyone that is holding us accountable. And so even when you are working out, for example, I embody the energy of a drill sergeant because a drill sergeant to me is pushing me beyond the moment where I feel like I just want to stop, right? Where it starts to feel uncomfortable. And so I am all about really learning to adapt my mentality to being comfortable in places that make me feel uncomfortable and feel resistance. And another part of the reason why I wanted to do the seven day vegan challenge is because as you guys know, I've talked about it a lot. I am on antidepressants. I just recently switched to a different uh, medication of antidepressants. And so I've been seeing my incredible psychiatrist and everything and I mentioned that I'm also getting really horrible, uh, vivid nightmares. Um, like really intense, vivid uh, nightmares. And as soon as I mentioned that, um, I basically instantly got prescribed medication for my nightmares. And so now I'm like, I take three medications. Now. Well, actually I don't take the medication for the nightmares, but I was prescribed that medication. And it just seems like now I was going down the road of just stacking the list of medications. And I don't want to live my whole life on medications. The antidepressant medication has worked really well for me, uh, but I do plan on healing myself holistically and getting to the root cause of the imbalances within my body. And diet and gut health are such a big major factor in our mental health and our physical health. And so this is the mission that I currently am on and food has always kind of been the weakest kind of thing that I always, you know, I've been on a fitness journey for three and a half years consistently and I haven't seen the drastic results that I should have at this point only because I am not disciplined when it comes to my diet. I eat healthy and we all have a definition of what healthy is but there are several times during the week where I eat takeout or I would have a bag of hot Cheetos or Doritos. And the more that I'm learning about health and wellness, now I'm discovering like the red 40, um, which is a color dye that is added to lots of foods is cancerous and it's causing a lot of issues in our children and our bodies. And so I've eliminated a lot of foods, I'm really reading labels and really taking responsibility for my own health because I don't wanna be on medication and I know that I can heal myself and I really believe that. And I'm also on a different spiritual journey because I have been um, a little spiritual, spiritually immature, you know, because I really do believe in, believe in the spirit realm, but I was approaching a lot of things from a place of immaturity. And since I started going to church and really learning about God's word and Jesus and, you know, setting aside the people that judged me tremendously, like just setting that aside and exploring my own journey, I have so much to share in regards to that. And um, I really do feel like some of the things that I was tapping into um, three years ago when I was at my lowest point, I do believe that I had open doors in a spiritual sense that were very dark, even though they presented themselves as light because 
now that I don't practice those things and I'm not exploring those things, I have so much more inner peace. And so, yeah, it's just, I just want to be completely honest about my journey. And so it's really exciting. It's so exciting to talk about health and wellness and living a long, a long life full of vitality and presence and mobility and exploration, you know? So let me share a book that I am currently reading. And you know I'm all about reading and learning. It's one of my favorite things in the whole entire world. So this is a book that I'm currently reading that I've been learning so much um, in regards to a raw vegan diet. And I, wanna, I don't wanna call it vegan because there's still um, so many things that I have to change in my life in order for me to ever consider myself vegan. And I don't want to put myself, I don't want to label myself also because it just limits my, I feel like it just limits my journey and the authenticity of my journey. And I feel like it could also hinder anyone who's starting a journey to put a label because it puts you in a box. And as you're learning and progressing and making mistakes, then you feel really bad for making the mistakes of you know, that fall within the label that you present to yourself. So I'm not calling myself anything. I am simply on a healing and wellness journey and always seeking to make better choices that are going to affect me and my family in a positive way. Um, so this is the raw cure, healing beyond medicine, how self-empowerment, a raw vegan diet and change of lifestyle can free us from sickness and disease, sickness and disease. And so I'm really excited about this. So today is day two. I haven't ate anything and it's 1030. I have a podcast interview um, that I got invited to. So I am going to, I'm not sure what I'm going to eat right now. <laughs> um, oh yes, I'm going to drink a lemon ginger honey concoction because the cold virus is in full throttle right now. My boys came home with like a little bit of a runny nose and they were feeling under the weather and now I'm just like okay it's I feel I woke up this morning and I felt it here and I cannot get sick I am a healthy person who is healing and by the way that's one of my favorite affirmations instead of saying like I'm sick or whatever do not our words are so powerful so I came across this beautiful affirmation if you are you know um, experiencing disharmony within your body and it is I am healing I am healing I am healing and I am healing my mind and my body and even that one disease in my body that doctors say there is no cure for I'm healing that as well Side by side we sway there in all the colors